But let's uh, go ahead and get started and uh, welcome everyone. Uh, we're so happy to uh, have you with us here today uh, for this great presentation, Unlock the Power of Health Information Management. And our special speaker, Nelly uh, First, a couple of things, and, and uh, I'd like to say thank you so very much for all of your support for the AIM Florida chapter and what we do. And um, we'll talk a little bit more about um, Nick's and, and um, how we've become such great uh, uh, co-participants in this effort and in, in support of Nick's and, and, and uh, everything that companies, Nick's and companies themselves have gone through. But first of all, uh, talking about some upcoming events that you won't want to miss either. And uh, on April 19, uh, we have the uh, Plain Working Group uh, and uh, providing webinar on digital transformation made easy within scanning solutions. Now that will be at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so quite often we have our webinars at 11 a.m. That one will be at 1 p.m. Eastern time, April 19th. And uh, it really is, you know, where capture uh, is so key to so many things. The first part of, uh, of the ingestion process, the ingest process, no matter what you're working on, whatever platform okay. you're processing uh, in capturing documents. Yes. Can I, ask you to, can I ask you to speak up just a little bit? We're having some sound issues, and I think. When you're a little bit louder, it, it helps. Okay. All right. Thank you. I, I can do that. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Most times they're asking me to tone it down, not uh, bring it up. So <laughs> it's good. <laughs> All right. So um, with regards to uh, uh, the uh, thin uh, client scanning, um, really, you're going to get a lot of information out of the uh what Twain Working Group does with regards to all things uh, through their Twain Direct um, capabilities that uh, uh, anyone can get involved in and, and uh, do feel free to reach out to us or to Twain uh, with any information in that regard. Uh, it'll be presented by uh, Kevin Neal. Kevin is the president and CEO of D3ID. And, um, also on, uh, chair of the marketing committee for Twain Working Group, a great friend of ours, and, and has given uh, quite a few presentations for in for four years. So um, also very important is to note that uh, we will be having a showcase. Uh, and, and yes, it seems like uh, gee, far down the road, but it, for our planning group, um, it is like now, <laughs> uh, October 3rd and 4th uh, here in Tampa. Uh, it's the Solutions Showcase and uh, Strategy Summit. And what's interesting about this is that uh, uh, the AIM uh, Leadership Council and the AIM Board of Directors, AIM International Board of Directors, uh, combining with the AIM Florida chapters uh, with our Solutions Showcase Expo, and having their event and meetings as part of this event. So uh, look for further details um, and we'll start broadcasting uh, here very soon. Um, and uh, there's huge excitement across the Association for Intelligent Information uh, world with regards to this event. So right here in our backyard and, and of course, uh, the Florida chapter playing the key role in setting up and promoting that event. So um, that's really for the uh, announcements. Please let us know of any questions and also look for information on our newsletter. You can obtain our uh, newest spring newsletter uh, via the aimfl.org website. And um, that's also, uh, uh, we also have the newsletter in Spanish as well as we our uh, a key gateway and liaison to Latin America. So um, happy to have you with us here today. So uh, 
continuing on, um, you know, right here where I said it's a beautiful day in St. Petersburg, Clearwater, we look out, people are on the beach, it's blue skies, sea, blue Gulf of Mexico. And where Nix comes from, it's not able to be as beautiful as it traditionally has been. Why? Because of aggression against Ukraine. And for the second year, we're very proud to combine with Nix. Uh, I, I know the uh, some of the Nix family very well, and I actually uh, frequently uh, meet up with uh, even ex-employees of Nix, uh, um, and uh, including uh, a gentleman that has uh, Natalie's uh, uh, capabilities on health information management really at the top of his list, uh, Kevin Woodford, great friend of mine. Um, and we're so happy to really conjoin with Nix. And I say that where they are doing all that they can in making the forced diaspora, okay, um, you know, the really still to continue to do business. And there's so many capabilities within Nix Solutions uh, and Nix United that we really always love having them and you know really in support of the entire cause of ukraine so um the uh, great thing is we have natalie kachenko with us today and she'll talk about unlock the power of health information management acquire analyze and protect data with our guidance and in perfect timing uh, with the uh, upcoming hymns events and and others around health information so natalie uh, yeah, thank you, Craig, for your warm words and uh, relationship, and uh, also appreciate uh, you having me here and the chance uh, to have the conversation uh, about the uh, ways uh, health information management may benefit uh, from software engineering e industry, uh, actually. So thank you for an advanced introduction. Uh, just add a couple of words. So yes, my name is Natalie Tkachenka. I'm a software engineering consultant at Nix. And uh, during the last uh, five years, my profession focus uh, is uh, on um, facilitating of uh, adoption of uh, the most innovative and uh, breakthrough uh, technological solutions available for software engineers uh, to their particular needs uh, of uh, healthcare uh, providers. And uh, in a couple of words about uh, the team I present. Uh, so the Nix uh, is a global software engineering team that uh, uh, originated from Ukraine and was founded in 1994 uh, during the 28 years of uh, uh, experience at scale up. Uh, it rises uh, to the company of uh, 30 hundreds uh, in-house engineers uh, that uh, delivers uh, more than 3,500 uh, projects uh, to different uh, branches of uh, industry. And uh, then it goes uh, to ways uh, we serve uh, to healthcare business vertical. We have delivered here more than 700 uh, uh, working uh, systems and uh, applications uh, that are uh, particularly targeted uh, to improve patients' uh, uh, experience, improve uh, uh, healthcare services, uh, providing uh, increased efficiency of uh, uh, treatment, uh, different sorts, uh, sorts uh, of uh, disease, and basically, you know, armed uh, all types of uh, uh, clinical facilities, meaning private and public hospitals, uh, different uh, laboratories, uh, research centers, uh, and uh, clinical uh, institutions. Uh, actually, our experts are open, uh, always open to have uh, like uh, their discussions and uh, uh, consult uh, you uh, from perspective of adoption. Uh, the most uh, like uh, fresh perks in uh, software engineering in the context of the particular needs of the uh, healthcare facility you present. So we are welcome and will be happy to communicate with you directly, especially in the coming events. They are, they are we are going to participate in, which is uh, Kim's Global Health uh, Conference and Exhibitions that is supposed to take place uh, 
uh, soon in April uh, from 17th to 21st. So we'll be gladly to discuss uh, this you there, like uh, in Chicago, uh, the all issues related uh, to your particular facility, if you may have uh, ones. And uh, my suggestions is uh, further moving uh, to the subject matter of our today's conversations, uh, which is uh, uh, health information management and synergy between healthcare providers uh, and uh, software engineering teams in that context. Here, I think uh, maybe uh, the first thing is important to determine the common ground uh, for like uh, this uh, so-called uh, synergy and uh, 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 outline like what's uh, health information uh, management itself. Uh, here we can refer to the definition uh, issued by American Health Information Management Associations that actually defines health information management as a set of uh, processes uh, aimed uh, to uh, efficient acquiring, analyzing, and uh, protecting of uh, digital and traditional medical information that is uh, crucially important uh, for providing top level of uh, quality of patient care. And uh, actually, uh, meaning uh, in the sense of cooperation of healthcare providers and software engineering teams, it is very important they be synchronized uh, from the point of view of understanding, uh, let's say, the rules uh, on the field. Uh, what I mean here is... Uh, Everybody knows that uh, healthcare industry is a highly regulated uh, uh, branch of uh, economy, actually. And uh, first uh, thing I mean here, like uh, the uh, terms issued, uh, this uh, Health Information Portability and Accountability Act, and uh, following him, Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health uh, Act, as far as the regulations issued by uh, HEMA itself, uh, that uh, many manages the processes of training and educational uh, staff uh, that is actually run all sort of processes of health information management uh, within uh, all sorts of uh, uh, healthcare uh, facilities. And uh, there is also no need uh, to argue like uh, the importance uh, and uh, meaningful of health information management solution in the context of its presence, uh, currently presence in the market. For example, in 1920s, uh, uh, like the uh, value of the market for health information management solutions was amounted to $25 billion. And we expect uh, this uh, estimate will rise twice uh, in the coming uh, eight years and uh, the same tendency is uh, shown by compound uh, uh, annual growth rate uh, that uh, uh, prognose uh, us sh shows prognosis us uh, about the it's uh, raising to uh, nine point nine persons uh, from 2021 to 2028. So uh, then it uh, goes uh, to like uh, inter interaction between healthcare providers and software engineering uh, teams in the context of health information management, I think uh, it uh, would be like a streamline to split that uh, set of processes uh, under him umbrella into standalone parts and highlight the main challenges associated with them. So having in mind that health information management means acquiring and uh, analyzing and protecting data, we like face uh, this the set of uh, challenges associated during each stage of this like uh, entire process of health information management. So uh, the first uh, block I suggest uh, to like uh, analyze is uh, the set of challenges associated with data gathering. Like uh, this is not also the secret and something uh, like uh, new I would highlight that the healthcare industry produce a great amount of uh, data it increases uh, from year to year. This is like the main uh, issue and the main power in the data for healthcare as far as maybe for other industries uh, uh, as well. And uh, having said that, uh, uh, I mean that uh, data could be used by healthcare providers uh, for like uh, enhancing experience uh, for uh, patients. Uh, the like actually directions of uh, useful using of data are tremendous, but uh, like the most crucial uh, and most important of them uh, show 
own this decreasing of ex expenses uh, for healthcare services uh, providing and optimizing the uh, operations uh, adopted within healthcare facilities that at the end of the day, uh, anyway, uh, like uh, targeted uh, and uh, oriented uh, to improvement of patients' uh, experiences. So uh, speaking about challenges in um, in the context of uh, uh, gathering of the data, we can mention here like uh, such ones as uh, data privacy and uh, correlating the ZID uh, regulatory compliance. Uh, uh, what uh, makes uh, life uh, difficult, uh, also such challenges at lack of uh, standardization and fragmentation of data. Let's uh, analyze uh, all of them step by step. So speaking about privacy, they mostly refer to like uh, terms of uh, uh, HIPAA uh, regulations uh, that uh, like uh, outlines uh, that uh, healthcare related information is uh, to be kept uh, uh, privately and uh, uh, it's necessary to restrict uh, like uh, access to it as far as it's uh, possible from all context uh, of uh, uh, communication there's a healthcare related uh, data and uh, meaning uh, data privacy for in the context of cooperation between healthcare providers and uh, uh, providers of software engineering services, it is very important that uh, uh, both sides uh, equally uh, understand and be equally warned into like main requirements uh, of the HIPAA to uh, data uh, privacy. Another challenge we face uh, during the gathering data uh, in the context of health information management is data fragmentation. Uh, it is a, a famous fact that uh, last uh, days uh, the, the usage of and adoption of electronic healthcare records uh, expanded. Actually, more and more uh, healthcare facilities uh, uh, try to use uh, that system and um, uh, following like uh, heat tech uh, requirements and uh, encouragements, but still uh, there are a lot of cases then uh, healthcare facilities have to operate with the data they feed from different sources. Uh, for example, uh, like uh, just a couple of days ago, we were addressed this request from one of the clinics uh, that actually provide services uh, for uh, making uh, analysis uh, for uh, patients and outsource uh, research activities from different laborator uh, laboratories. Uh, so they communicate this that laboratories uh, via uh, SaaS uh, CRM, and uh, the issue is like uh, every labor laboratory has its own uh, electronic medical record system and uh, store uh, the that actually assumes different formats of presenting uh, data. So the issue there for our uh, customer, for example, was in combining all that uh, differentiated uh, format of uh, data presenting and uh, making uh, reports uh, that is uh, consumable for the uh, end uh, patients of uh, that clinics. So to overcome that uh, types of uh, issues, uh, software engineers may suggest uh, like uh, uh, implementations of uh, different sorts of intermediaries uh, software, but uh, like uh, general recommendations to overcome these uh, challenges generally in uh, following industry standards uh, for data interoperability and uh, communications. Uh, uh, having said that, I mean, first of all, like HL7 and peer protocols uh, for uh, data transferring between uh, different uh, systems integrated into the uh, common uh, system adopted in the particular uh, health uh, care facilities. Uh, the same uh, uh, issue is illustrated this one of our cases uh, where we were addressed. Uh, this the uh, famous uh, company, which is uh, Thompson Raiders, uh, that faced, uh, you know, the similar like uh, problems, I meaning consuming data uh, that uh, feed their platform, JFarm, and uh, actually was pleaded this uh, different uh, like uh, uh, data sources. Uh, so 
uh, the uh, uh, unstreamlined organization of their data sources and fragmentation of uh, data doesn't uh, allow to effectively uh, functioning of the JFarm platform that uh, blocked uh, the effective uh, uh, effectiveness of usage it uh, for end users, uh, meaning. Uh, pharmacologists and uh, medicine edit uh, editors uh, for whom like it was important to follow and research uh, trends in pharmaceutical. So the solution we suggested here was uh, uh, more radical than uh, in the previous case, since we had uh, to rearrange uh, the architecture like uh, of the entire system and uh, like uh, made crucial uh, improvements into it that was uh, uh, actually cost uh, consuming actually. Uh, lack of standardization is uh, another issue that uh, goes uh, 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 together this uh, uh, data gathering and uh, uh, here they mean that uh, like uh, you know, th this issue could be illustrated uh, mostly these electronic medical records as a solution because uh, you know they are uh, uh, the clinics may use own standards uh, for uh, running their systems, but uh, sometimes they, as in the case I have shared previously, uh, they need uh, to like uh, transfer that uh, information via common uh, CRMs, uh, for example. So yes, uh, uh, this uh, lack of standardization for medical information as the challenge is recognized uh, by uh, practitioners as well as you see, like almost half of them uh, see that uh, problem in their in their daily uh, activities uh, as uh, providers of uh, healthcare uh, services and uh, regulatory compliance. Uh, as the challenge in the data gathering, this is like the challenge I rather consider not the challenge, but. Uh, assistance uh, seems uh, it is like uh, I consider it like a set of guidelines uh, that uh, both uh, providers of healthcare services and software engineers should follow to make uh, things uh, meaning systems applications uh, better and uh, tune to the, uh, the best practices uh, to supply like the uh, privacy uh, and safety requirements uh, for healthcare uh, data so the issue uh, here is really not not in the regulatory itself, but uh, in the effort consuming uh, process of uh, diving deeper into uh, these uh, terminations and understanding what set of them are uh, uh, practically applicable to uh, particular uh, healthcare facilities uh, to follow it and uh, uh, extrapolate the, them as well to other systems uh, we are going to develop for this uh, particular facility. Uh, of course, and uh, I uh, a bit uh, touched this uh, topic uh, like uh, in a previous uh, two cases I used uh, for demonstration, like uh, uh, the practical aspects of the challenges. It is uh, always easier to implement all recommendations of HIPAA provides uh, to a particular healthcare facility than you develop uh, the uh, application of the system uh, from scratch. In this uh, case, like the analysis effort and further testing effort as well as effort of engineers is focused on implementation of uh, HIPAA uh, recommendations uh, to the, each particular uh, case. Like uh, we had uh, here, this the one of our customers uh, who provides uh, software for hospitals and healthcare systems. And uh, in this particular uh, case, uh, we mean uh, the application that was uh, targeted uh, for uh, uh, like, uh, uh, improving patient retentions and increasing engagement into of the patients into communications with the uh, clinic. So, like uh, the application allow uh, allowed. Uh, to the patients uh, integrate these different devices that gather information about uh, uh, healthcare statement of their patient and also for like medical facilities uh, that was uh, an additional channel to communicate to the patients and deliver information about uh, all sorts of uh, programs uh, updated uh, service related uh, information so on and so forth and of course uh, in turn the uh, healthcare facilities had the chance uh, to observe 
that data patients collected uh, from their uh, devices uh, for you know better uh, having better background about uh, uh, patient healthcare st status. So uh, in the context of these uh, particular solutions, uh, the uh, HIPAA compliance uh, was uh, like originally investigated, uh, meaning set of terms uh, to be implemented and. Um, uh, systematically was adopted by the team in every stage uh, of this uh, particular solutions uh, uh, development. Uh, now let's move to the next stage of the health information management, which is analysis and uh, uh, analysis of the gathered data. And it, it doesn't also have the lack of challenges. Uh, then it goes uh, to uh, fulfillment. Uh, it uh, actually, uh, as I said, data is a powerful tool for healthcare as well as for other uh, industry and not uh, just uh, like uh, as a data itself, but because of insights, uh, it's possible to gather through it and use uh, for like uh, prediction, uh, building prediction models in the context uh, of development, for example, diseases. Uh, in the context of the particular pa patient uh, or uh, like uh, in the context of uh, uh, elaborating on set, uh, on set of preventive uh, measures to be uh, made uh, for uh, successful run of one or another treatment. Uh, and of course, uh, the analysis of uh, data is uh, applicable for tracking uh, outcomes uh, from uh, all sorts of uh, healthcare related activities. Uh, as I said, uh, there is no lack of challenges in the context of uh, uh, data analyzing uh, like in him. And uh, these challenges are uh, accurate data capturing, data relevance, uh, data privacy and security and data visualization. With uh, uh, accurate data capturing challenge, uh, I mean uh, here like the combination of the digital and manual approaches uh, for putting uh, data to like uh, the internal system that uh, uh, collects uh, that uh, data pool for firmer, further use uh, in uh, analyzing. And uh, because of this uh, process sometimes is uh, conducted manually, here may some errors uh, occur and uh, like uh, that influence uh, the uh, final efficiency of the further analysis, uh, uh, as well as uh, accurate uh, parsing of all formats of uh, data related uh, to healthcare activities, since uh, we know that uh, uh, like uh, in their uh, daily practices, uh, practitioners uh, use the data of absolutely different formats uh, from audio, video, uh, and uh, sp uh, special uh, images uh, format uh, data. So uh, it's crucially important uh, to uh, like parse uh, information uh, uh, and uh, encrypted in each uh, particular format accurately. And uh, that is actually could be fulfilled is the uh, software system, especially elaborated uh, and developed uh, for this. This data relevance uh, uh, challenge, they mean like the uh, communication, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, arrows uh, this uh, in uh, healthcare related data that uh, happens uh, uh, because of uh, weaknesses in uh, communication because between different uh, um, uh, participants uh, of uh, health care related activities and even practitioners themselves uh, admit uh, that uh, uh, this uh, issue like uh, happens in 90% uh, of uh, cases of uh, like around uh, data in uh, healthcare. Uh, uh, then it uh, goes uh, to data privacy and the security in the context of uh, analyzing of uh, healthcare data. data. Here uh, it uh, like uh, mostly about uh, the healthy balance uh, between uh, like uh, keeping data private and uh, necessity to reach uh, uh, data for uh, making effective analysis. So uh, as we know, HIPAA uh, determines uh, around uh, uh, 18 uh, pieces of data related uh, to patients uh, that are supposed uh, 
to uh, keep on the necessary level of privacy and uh, sa safety. So the challenge here is uh, clean like the entire pool of health uh, care related data from uh, that uh, sensitive information uh, that uh, may like uh, make the major to the patients and gather what ones uh, that ones uh, which is uh, crucial uh, for uh, making uh, analysis uh, effectively. And uh, data uh, visual, uh, visualization. Uh, this is like uh, another challenge. As I mentioned, the number of data in healthcare is uh, tremendous. And uh, like uh, different uh, participants of healthcare activities uh, have their like uh, own requirements to consumptions of the data and uh, uh, would like to receive, prefer to receive their own insights uh, that are helpful for their particular uh, like uh, daily activities. Uh, so uh, the challenge, this kind of challenge uh, could be other comed uh, with, with uh, these the special tools uh, which uh, we relate uh, to business intelligence tools uh, that uh, provides ability to analyze uh, the immense amount of healthcare related data on different layers uh, provided uh, to uh, each uh, uh, consumer of healthcare uh, data. Uh, his uh, or her uh, uh, particular information and ability to observe uh, uh, like the trends uh, and insights uh, on uh, in the information they actually request to like we did in uh, for one of our clients uh, that was the company that provides uh, uh, also solutions for healthcare se uh, uh, sectors uh, they came to us uh, uh, like this, the uh, all set of, uh, of challenges uh, I uh, mentioned above, meaning like uh, they uh, try to build like um, a complex uh, dashboard uh, and reach this the data that uh, should be pulled from different uh, sources. So like the uh, challenge in that solution was uh, in uh, building like uh, streamlined system meaning ETL for combining all that data and building a final dashboard, these different levels of analysis uh, that uh, uh, were supposed to, uh, this, that actually uh, um, uh, reflects the information uh, that should be sub consumed by different uh, uh, practitioners, uh, different uh, uh, roles, uh, representatives in the context of that particular uh, healthcare uh, facilities. And uh, protecting of the healthcare data is the third aspect uh, of uh, uh, health information uh, management. Uh, uh, the the uh, importance of this uh, also shouldn't be uh, somehow like uh, argued. It's uh, clear and uh, evident. We all, uh, I guess, observe like uh, the uh, statistic issues by uh, HIPAA journal about uh, the number of uh, hacking attack uh, to healthcare related data. For example, in 2021, uh, uh, other 40 million of patient records were hacked uh, and uh, compromised. And that's actually clear because uh, uh, patients related data, uh, all this uh, contains uh, the individual sensitive information as well as financial information that could be used uh, in committing uh, frauds actually. Uh, the challenges uh, in associated with data protecting are regulations uh, in compliance and uh, we highlighted it as well uh, in the context uh, of uh, another uh, blocks of processes related to health information uh, management. As I said uh, previously, yes, uh, HIPAA determines about uh, uh, 18 pieces of data associated uh, this uh, um, patient uh, information that uh, is supposed to be kept on the necessary level of uh, privacy and uh, safety. So it's uh, very important uh, to process this data. There's a necessary level um, uh, of uh, accuracy and uh, like uh, restricting access uh, to them uh, if uh, it's abandoned in the context of the particular uh, solution or healthcare facility. And uh, another challenge is legacy system and obsolete technologies. Uh, what we mean here, 
is uh, that uh, uh, it's evident uh, that uh, last uh, days uh, uh, healthcare industry was enriched uh, with uh, a lot of uh, and all sorts of uh, solutions for improvement and treatment processes, uh, so on and so forth. Sometimes they are very complex and uh, sophisticated, and the more complex and sophisticated solutions, the more effort it require, requires uh, for maintaining and updating it uh, based on the latest report of uh, HIPAA as for uh, like set of vulner vulnerabilities uh, uh, revealed uh, by the experience of uh, other uh, providers. So it's uh, the, the, the uh, what I would like to share here and highlight, it's very important to uh, keep uh, that system up to date and do like uh, timely support uh, uh, measures uh, to like remove uh, that uh, vulnerabilities. Uh, the same uh, we can uh, um, apply to the cases, uh, then it goes not to the complex uh, uh, medical systems, but uh, Internet of Things devices that are widely used in the healthcare industry as well. And it uh, very openly happens, uh, they are absolutely not adjustable to say, keep data uh, in privacy and uh, safety. And uh, recommendations here, uh, in removing challenger, th these challenges just in eliminated that sort of devices from the, uh, uh, from the activities uh, that is uh, conducted uh, uh, within healthcare facilities. And uh, another challenge is insufficient cybersecurity training and, edu and education. It all relates uh, to the staff engaged in healthcare uh, services uh, providing. Uh, yeah, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, this. Um, uh, this close of information happens uh, uh, just because uh, not all the staff is uh, uh, understand enough uh, what kind of information is considered to be uh, private and what measures are to be fulfilled uh, for me for keeping it private and uh, safe. Uh, so uh, this is like uh, to as HIPAA requires. This is to uh, goes to systematical uh, training and education uh, the uh, staff. Uh, in our case, actually, uh, there was uh, their request uh, when we implemented like a small application for healthcare facility that blocked the camera of the uh, personal devices that are supposed that were used by the personal to, uh, in the need. Uh, of uh, uh, in the professional uh, needs uh, uh, that was uh, for the cases then the user was not uh, logged into the uh, internal uh, system so in that cases the practitioner the doctor couldn't make the picture the uh, uh, of and make the images there's the phone camera for to to, to uh, support his activities that was uh, necessary and uh, of course um, when it goes uh, to data protection in the context of health information management system, uh, here should be mentioned such uh, technological solution as uh, blockchain. In general, there are a lot of cases uh, of application blockchain for uh, healthcare needs, uh, but uh, data protecting is the best uh, probably illustr uh, for illustration case. There, this uh, like uh, technology uh, may solve uh, the the, the needs of uh, healthcare providers. And uh, we also, as uh, providers of software solutions, face this such type of requests. Uh, then we like uh, implemented the system, uh, uh, this uh, the application for sharing, um, uh, for sharing uh, electronic healthcare records, uh, like uh, information. And uh, we did it this uh, the usage of uh, blockchain uh, technology. And basically, like uh, here should be mentioned that the main no nodes, uh, this is in the context of blockchain technologies, but in the context of healthcare solutions, the main type of users of the systems were elementary schools, hospitals, and the uh, uh, parents of the children uh, from that uh, schools, actually. The necessity and the main request uh, to 
this uh, system was uh, in uh, uh, supplying safe uh, sharing uh, sharing of the data from electronic health care records of the children uh, from the hospitals uh, to the elementary schools. So uh, as I said, the, uh, within that system, three nodes were implemented like parents, uh, elementary schools and uh, 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 hospitals uh, for uh, communication of uh, each of uh, nodes uh, was organized in a uh, standalone dedicated uh, channel and the entire flow looks like uh, on the slide you see it now so like uh, parents created admission request to elementary school in turn elementary school accepted that admission request and then uh, created report request uh, to the uh, hospitals uh, uh, the Having that report, uh, hospitals uh, cre uh, having that report request, hospitals created that report, and only after parents uh, provided access uh, to this report, elementary schools uh, have uh, the chance uh, to see that information and uh, the data related uh, to their request. Uh, the complexity of such type systems could be uh, different. Uh, we know that uh, based on analysis of uh, like. Uh, industry uh, and solutions uh, like industry made, uh, they know that uh, there is also like the chance uh, to restrict the time for of access to such type records. So that depends, of course, uh, to the particular needs uh, and each particular case. And of course, it's always something um, like related to balance between uh, cost and uh, effectiveness. Um, so uh, currently, like I finished, there's the block that uh, was in uh, analyzing of uh, challenges related to different uh, uh, stages of uh, health information management and how uh, software engineering teams may uh, help uh, uh, health care providers uh, to benefit uh, from their abilities in resolving the challenges. And uh, my next uh, uh, block uh, is uh, dedicated uh, to uh, some suggestions of, of improvements, health information management. Of course, uh, like a number of these suggestions endless, uh, just uh, I focused on uh, the, like once uh, we uh, successfully uh, overcome uh, these uh, like, uh, solutions uh, as well. And uh, <clears throat> one of the ways uh, to improve health information uh, management is uh, in improvement of uh, block of workflows uh, in the context of their particular facilities. Having said that, it's important probably to outline what work workflows uh, is actually. And uh, these workflows mean like the number of particular steps and activities uh, necessarily to uh, run for gathering, uh, collecting, uh, storing, analyzing, and further protection of uh, information. It's very important to uh, keep uh, this uh, part uh, of activities uh, uh, tuned uh, and streamlined because uh, uh, in this case, it allows uh, to increase uh, uh, productivity uh, uh, of the uh, healthcare facilities. Uh, uh, it also helps uh, to improve accuracy of that data that is correlated with the uh, challenges uh, in uh, data uh, gathering we outlined uh, earlier. Uh, it uh, helps uh, to minimize the uh, errors of the staff of the healthcare uh, providers that also uh, influence the quality of the da data they uh, gather and it's uh, all this uh, it also influence like the uh, precise of uh, analysis output we are going to have this uh, that uh, and uh, of course uh, streamline uh, workflows uh, allows uh, to like streamline in turn communication because between uh, uh, healthcare facility staff and uh, uh, which is uh, at the end of the day the, aimed uh, the improvement of the uh, patient uh, experience. Um, the 
there is uh, no like uh, common default approach in uh, uh, resolving uh, workflow related issues for each particular uh, healthcare providers, but uh, there are commonly used uh, steps uh, uh, we like uh, and other uh, uh, software providers follow to uh, make uh, them more efficient and uh, streamline. And of course, everything begins uh, from the analyzing of the current situation and current processes. Uh, it is very important uh, to set up uh, clear and intensive communications between uh, this type of uh, soft uh, their service provider and uh, healthcare uh, provider. Uh, normally from the engineering teams, uh, 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 we assign a solution engineer for analyzing technical uh, aspects uh, and the uh, uh, restrictions and possibilities uh, in the context of each particular case of uh, research. Uh, and uh, uh, also a business analyst, uh, an expert uh, in uh, domain uh healthcare domain also inside so they like have the complex uh, view uh, on the uh, issues uh, uh we also expect uh, here to like uh, players from healthcare providers meaning somebody who is the process owner and understand the, how everything runs uh, internally uh so and uh, like uh working uh in a close communication and cooperation, uh, this uh, uh, team identifies the areas of bottlenecks uh, healthcare provider faces and that could be improved. It is also important to understand that uh, it is not necessarily like uh, everything uh, revealed uh, to be automated and to be improved of course they uh, like uh, all this uh, do like grounded and wise uh, solutions meaning balance between uh, expected uh, outcome and uh, uh, like uh, efforts that it, uh, efforts that supposed to be uh, spent for it along this uh, budget and time but still like uh, the um, solution team uh, uh, like uh, suggest its uh, uh, improvement uh, plan and uh, like uh, to follow it. Uh, another uh, crucial uh, step for streamlining of workflows is in standardizing uh, procedures uh, uh, in healthcare facilities. Uh, it is very important to understand that the less uh, the less mess in the all types of regulations, uh, uh, internal uh, like instructions, the more they clear to the staff and uh, the more effectiveness uh, in following them uh, by the staff. And once uh, like the streamline recommendations are implemented, it's very important to train staff uh, to them and explain like the new approaches in following workflows. Uh, like the uh, request, uh, we all like the quest uh, for improvement of workflows. Uh, this is something we face uh, uh, also often in our practice. Like uh, uh, something like that we did uh, for one of the hospital that was uh, sp specializing in acute care, and uh, that hospital experienced uh, rapid growth, uh, meaning uh, like expanding its activities and, uh, and growth in the sense of uh, uh, employees, uh, including uh, like practitioners and administrative staff that, uh, that in a short uh, term increased uh, to more than 1,000 uh, uh, employees. Uh, so they face the, this the situation, the, then the like, um, uh, the effectiveness uh, of uh, processes in healthcare facility decrease, uh, the expenses increase, uh, like uh, uh, vice versa, and uh, like uh, the effectiveness of uh, staff uh, uh, performance also uh, decrease. Uh, uh, and uh, as the solution for them, uh, they uh, suggested set up, uh, of course, after deep analysis and following the like steps I uh, described previously, uh, we suggested them improvement of uh, uh, workflows and uh, like uh, 
free aspects of the activities, uh, meaning IT workflows, uh, uh, patients related uh, workflows and administrative related uh, workflows uh, for adoption of uh, all that uh, measures. Uh, we use the service now as a software as a service uh, solutions that uh, actually uh, well adaptive uh, for uh, uh, healthcare related uh, systems. Uh, so, and uh, after reduction, they uh, faced uh, these uh, like uh, good uh, results uh, in uh, uh, operating costs uh, and uh, uh, like uh, measures of uh, uh, supply and, uh, uh, satisfaction uh, raised by the consumers. Uh, so that was the uh, success uh, story for uh, streamlining workflow for one of our uh, clients. Among uh, the in the range of recommendations uh, for improvement of health information management is also uh, like uh, moving uh, to the clouds uh, would be uh, mentioned externally. Uh, here, it, uh, all this, uh, everything goes uh, from the tremendous amount of uh, uh, data that uh, was um, gathered in the industry during the years of its uh, uh, um, existing and uh, uh, operating. Uh, so uh, it, the like uh, the amounts of that uh, data from one um, uh, from one side is uh, necessity to uh, um, improve uh, efficiency of uh, uh, operating of uh, healthcare facilities, but uh, from another side it rises the cost uh, for uh, storing uh, uh, that data for. Uh, computing uh, capabilities uh, uh, and the cost uh, for like um, maintenance of all of them. In this uh, case, uh, the uh, cloud solution could be uh, like uh, a solution, uh, but uh, still this is not like decision that could be made by, uh, by click uh, from our perspective as software uh, engineering service uh, providers. Uh, uh, we like, you know, like in all solutions, we all this goes from the context of the situation, from the uh, background uh, of the uh, business, uh, you know, uh, analyzing uh, the current situations and the uh, targets uh, that are followed by the uh, providers. Uh, and uh, like analysis of uh, the like opinions of decision makers of the uh, industry uh, related uh, to uh, moving of the healthcare related data to cloud uh, shows that uh, there are a set of concerns uh, among uh, them about uh, this process. Uh, the top rated one is uh, data security and uh, egress uh, cost. Uh, in the meantime, like uh, industry suggests uh, a lot of possible uh, solutions for cloud migrating, uh, meaning like uh, public uh, hosts are available, available, like the main players uh, uh, of them, uh, uh, Amazon Web Service, uh, Azure Cloud, uh, uh, Google uh, Cloud Platform, uh, and uh, like there are also other players. Uh, uh, so uh, from perspective of uh, like preferences uh, that is uh, spread within the industry, uh, more than 30% uh, of uh, decision makers prefers uh, the hybrid cloud solutions than the partly, partially data is stored uh, in the facilities of uh, um, uh, clinical facilities and uh, the partly is uh, like uh, stored into the publicly available, available clouds. Uh, from perspective of the, you know, uh, cloud expertise uh, and uh, NICS, uh, we are like a partners of the most uh, uh, like um, uh, famous uh, players uh, and providers of this uh, kind of service, meaning uh, Amazon Web Servers. Uh, we also a partner of Google Cloud and uh, uh, Azure uh, uh, services. Uh, 
uh, as I said, uh, like the cases, then the clients address us, there's the uh, request for data migrations are also often uh, faced uh, by us. Uh, like uh, in this example, you currently see uh, in the screen, uh, which was uh, uh, like uh, was the request for big uh, uh, system associated with these uh, healthcare providers and moving it uh, to the client, meaning all components uh, of the complex uh, architecture of the uh, system, uh, as far as uh, patient in full orders, uh, drug delivery, billing, and uh, prescription. So yes, uh, we like uh, elaborated on strategy of migrating to cloud of this, um, uh, pharmacy management uh, uh, system. And uh, here show also should be mentioned uh, the fact that uh, uh, the, the, then it goes to like uh, moving to the cloud. Uh, our clients uh, uh, often address us this the question about if uh, the rearranging of uh, monolith uh, architecture to microservices uh, to this uh, huge system should be conducted. So like our like uh, uh, architects uh, uh, replies on this. So in mostly uh, cases, yes, but uh, it, all this should be analyzed in the context uh, of the uh, uh, background, business uh, background. Uh, the, uh, in other ways uh, of optimizing of healthcare information management is artificial intelligence based uh, solutions. They are not something uh, like uh, absolutely new in the industry. They are widely used uh, for, uh, for automation, administrative tasks, uh, and increasing uh, efficiency for improving diagnosis uh, capabilities. Uh, uh, we also, as uh, software engineers, have uh, the experience in providing solutions for uh, like uh, improvement uh, for uh, prediction of uh, uh, possible risks related uh, to uh, treatment adoptions and uh, solutions uh, empowering all types of uh, research uh, and uh, drugs manufacturing. In general, like uh, more than 33% of healthcare providers have their own strategy of adoption, artificial intelligence based tools in their uh, daily activities and uh, about the half of them have implemented it uh, so far. And uh, uh, chart uh, boards is a particular case uh, for uh, like uh, usage of artificial intelligence uh, uh, in the context uh, of improvement of health information management system. Uh, it help, they helps uh, like uh, uh, summarize the information gathered from the users. They helps uh, more effectively uh, triage uh, the uh, like requests of initial requests of uh, patients and increase the efficiency of processing such kind of re uh, um, requests uh, taking away the load from the personal of healthcare uh, facilities. Uh, 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 Artificial intelligence charts uh, uh, boards also helps uh, to like uh, automate administrative functions in the context of healthcare facilities and uh, uh, provide quick and accurate answers uh, to the uh, patients. And of course, here should be mentioned the like uh, chart GPT in the context of this uh, uh, particular solutions uh, for whole skier but, and because of uh, uh, fire, fire, you know, attack for information attack around it. Uh, during the last days. Uh, so for us uh, as uh, providers of software engineers, it's uh, not uh, like a revolutionary new tool in uh, delivering uh, 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 solutions from our aspects uh, uh, of uh, business because we like already use uh, that uh, approaches and tools uh, for resolving issues uh, our um, clients uh, address uh, to us, but uh, as other providers, we attentively uh, research uh, capabilities uh, of this uh, new uh, tool, capabilities uh, 
of uh, its uh, new like uh, closed uh, APIs and plugins uh, that uh, could be integrated into different uh, systems in the context of their usage uh, in healthcare and other industries uh, we supply our solutions uh, to. Yes, actually the case on this slide shows one of our success story of implementation of, the, of such type of chart boards. And yes, it should be, we had to follow like main principles of HIPAA while delivering it and information uh, transferring there was the uh, build following uh, adopted in the industry uh, standardizations uh, requirements like uh, here and uh, as an output uh, this chat board helped uh, to more than uh, almost half a million uh, customers uh, to uh, get relevant uh, healthcare support on the initial types of their request and addressing to uh, healthcare uh, providers. Uh, as the conclusion to the long story I had the chance uh, to uh, deliver, I would like to emphasize that it never happens that there is a standard uh, solutions uh, for like some type of uh, uh, situation that, that the like uh, each particular request should be considered in the close uh, connection with the business uh, uh, background. But uh, there are like uh, common steps uh, uh, we normally follow in uh, delivering the most uh, effective and brilliant uh, systems uh, to our clients from healthcare uh, stay as well. And uh, they are in, uh, in attentive analyzing of the existing processes and determining uh, critical uh, and determining the main purposes uh, of actually uh, like touching the pain points uh, in one or in other pieces of the systems. Uh, we always uh, recommend uh, 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 provide recommendations this uh, choosing the right technology which is applicable for resolving a uh, particular issue and uh, provide uh, the uh, like implementation uh, strategy uh, of course it's very important to constantly monitor the situations and uh, getting feedbacks uh, on in other points uh, of uh, improvement so my long story uh, it's uh, thank you for your attention and would be happily to answer the questions if they are. And Natalie, thank you so very much. And, and uh, I know we had a question from uh, uh, Julia regarding uh, chat GPT, and I don't know that it is uh, HIPAA compliant as of yet. Uh, um, if you can briefly answer that, I know we're over time, so I don't. I want to uh, uh, hold everybody on if uh, you want to answer that question or uh, Julia, you have Natalie's uh, email right here and uh, you can read out and exchange that information. So uh, if well, you want to get the brief answer and then we conclude. Yeah. Yeah, actually, you know, it depends whom you will ask about it. You know, if you ask uh, the chat GPT about it, mostly likely it will answer you. It is not HIPAA compliant, but because as the large language model, it is trained of not uh, patient data, but just on general uh, information. Uh, but uh, uh, we like, uh, as I said, we like uh, try to follow the rules uh, in the industry, and uh, that's why I follow their recommendations of. Uh, compliance group that is uh, the famous uh, uh, like uh, consultant in the sea of HIPAA compliance in the United States and they made their own investigations about uh, HIPAA compliance of the chat GPT so their conclusion uh, 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 published uh, several weeks ago uh, on their website is uh, chat GPT in its current uh, uh, implementation couldn't be considered as HIPAA compliant uh, even uh, like they relate uh, to the uh, 
the, the uh, documentation uh, that says it uh, needs it will uh, it train itself uh, uh, on all uh, data come to to it uh, to uh, improve performance uh, since uh, HIPAA restricts uh, us uh, in accessing to data these all possible measures and try to prevent uh, ex uh, abandoned access uh, to the uh, patient related information so Thank you very much. And, and again, uh, Julia, uh, please uh, feel free uh, to uh, get more information with regards to your question. Uh, um, unfortunately, uh, we, we won't have time to address fully uh, all the virtues and values of chat GPT and how it's making the, uh, the uh, intelligent information world by storm. So uh, Natalie, our thanks. Uh, to you, our thanks to Nix United and the entire Nix organization. Uh, we we greatly appreciate you, and and we appreciate everything that you, know, you all are uh, uh, you know doing to uh, to uh, stay uh, uh, very you know active and profitable and and so forth uh, in these times. So um, and. Uh, we, we hope that we can uh, uh, meet up uh, here when you're in town. And um, to everyone, thank you very much for any questions. Again, you have uh, uh, Natalie's information on screen. Feel free to reach out to her. Great organization that will uh, respond uh, very promptly to your request for information. So. With that, uh, just a reminder to everyone that on now, it, again, it's Wednesday, the 19th. So Wednesday, the 19th of April, 1 p.m. Eastern. And that will be uh, Digital Transformation Made Easy Within Scanning Solutions. And, uh, you know, we know that as much as we'd like to hover and shoot, we still have the value of scanners for ingest. So uh, it's not something uh, that we can look away with, at least uh, I, I don't believe in this method yet. So um, uh, I look forward to you RSVPing for that for more information with LinkedIn posts. And again, to finalize, Natalie, thank you very much. And we look forward to our next webinar with Nick's. And, and hopefully we can uh, do some other things, uh, maybe even a podcast. Uh, uh, right in your offices here locally, something like that. So looking forward to it. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day and look forward to seeing you on April 19th. Bye now. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.